Welcome back everyone, I'm Joe DeLongware and today is maybe my first mow. I have a little confession to make, so let's get started. So like I was saying, I do have a little confession to make. This is technically my second mowing. Um, I did mow earlier in the week. Uh, today is Saturday, September 25th. I did mow earlier in the week. Um, I, we were just getting a bunch of rain here in South Jersey. Um, uh, Wednesday into Thursday and a little bit of Friday. And I just really wanted to get a little mowing in before we got all this rain. Um, as you can see, it looked pretty good after the mowing. Um, it was a little shaggy, so that's why I wanted to get that mowing in. Um, I thought the mowing came out pretty well, um, but today is my second mowing, um, and it looks a hell of a lot better. It looks really good. It's starting to fill in. The green is starting to come through now in this lawn. Uh, that Mountain View seed, it's an, it really is an awesome seed, I have to say. Uh, this green in this seed, I mean, it's I've, I've said it before, but I've never seen a dark green like this before. Um, and a grass seed right here behind me. So I did replace my blade today. I put a brand new blade on the Toro Super Recycler right here. The matte black edition right here with the Honda engine, it does take obviously a 21 inch blade. I just got mine at Home Depot. I was able to find one right there. Um, this is the old blade right here that I've been using throughout the season. I usually try and sharpen my blades after every probably two cuts. I just, I have the capability of just taking it off real quick with my uh, torque wrench um, and just throwing it on my uh, vise and just easily sharpen it with my angle grinder. So I just like to keep my blades sharpened so I have a nice clean cut throughout the year. And obviously the brand new blades, they come like a coated with like a black on it um, where the blade part is that cuts. Um, so what I usually like to do is just throw it on my grinder and just shim it off real quick and get a nice clean uh, cut on there, a nice clean blade. Um, and then from there, I just throw it right back on my Super Recycler and I'm good to go. So what I'm gonna be doing later in the year, if you know my channel, uh, I have done uh, Super Recycler reviews in the past of this one right here, the matte black edition with the Honda engine. Um, I wanna do a one year uh, ownership review of this. There are definitely some pros and there are definitely some cons to this Honda or this Toro Super Recycler right here. Um, overall, I am extremely happy with the mower. I have to say, honestly, it does have a it does a really nice job of cutting. It's very light. It gets I can able to get on it and off real quickly. Um, it doesn't do a ton of ruts in my lawn as well, even if it's a little bit wet. So I am happy overall, but there is definitely some cons, and I want to point that out to people, especially if people are interested uh, in the Toro Super Recycler right, Reci Super Recycler line. Um, obviously this one is the matte black edition with the Honda engine so stay tuned um, I will be doing that probably sometime in late October that video on a full one-year ownership of the Toro Super Recycler matte black edition with the Honda engine and with that let's roll some mowing video right now for you to enjoy at home As you can still see, my voice is still not completely back. I talk a lot during the week at work, so I can't really rest my voice. I try the best as I could, but it's still not completely back. Um, but 
So bear with me again today in today's video, but as you can see behind me, it's looking really great. The green is really coming in, like I was saying. Uh, this is day 21 right here on the overseed, day 21 germination right here. Um, so everything's really filling in, uh, especially this side over here. Um, and then as you come over to the main front of my house over here, um, it's looking really great as well. Um, again, there's some thin spots, um, but it can't be perfect. Um, but overall, I'm really happy with this seed right here behind me. I mean, it's looking really great. The green is there. It's starting to thicken up. And as the more I mow, that's what I'm expecting. Like I did last year, I was mowing very frequently. Um, and it just started to fill in more and more uh, throughout the month of uh, September, late September, and then obviously into October as I continue to do my mowings. So as you can see, here's the main front of my house. We're going to go over to the side now. But as I walk over there, I just want to talk to you about my lawn and what I'm going to be doing for the remainder of the year. My plan is to do some spoon feedings. And what that means is spoon feeding is where you don't give a strong dose of fertilizer at once. Um, it's you do it over like a course of a couple of weeks. Um, I have a bunch of flagship left over um, and I really don't want to buy anything. I try not to buy things that I don't need. Um, I, I want to try and use up what I have for the remainder of the year rather than go and buy something at a store or online. Um, so what I have on hand, I have a, a five gallon bucket in my shed of a flagship and I really just want to use that up and get rid of it. So my plan is to spoon feed that. Um, it's high in nitrogen. It's a 2406 fertilizer. So my plan is just to use that up through the remainder of the year. Um, and just spoon feed that over the course of October. Um, really push some growth into this lawn, push some nitrogen in this lawn. Um, and as you can see on this side, it's looking really great as well. Um, this is the side of my yard. Obviously I live on a corner, um, but it's looking really great. Um, I'll throw a couple pictures up here as well uh, from today. So you guys just aren't looking at the camera view right here, but uh, it's looking really great. I'm happy with it so far. Again, I've said it in the project lawn video, um, any overseed could probably be better, um, but these are my results. This is what I'm dealt with. Um, I was obviously filling in certain spots that were thin with extra seed that I got. I always try and get extra seed just for cases where they are thin spots or some spots you may have missed, a washout, whatever. Um, but so far it's looking really great. I'm happy um, and we'll continue to keep doing this throughout the year. And the part of the lawn that I'm very impressed with is my sidewalk areas right here uh, between the sidewalk and the outside the street over there, obviously. Um, this curb line, I call it. Um, this is usually all crabgrass right here. And um, as you can see, I usually try and pick it out through the course of the year because I don't like using herbicides in my lawn. They kill off, you know, different weeds. Um, so usually I'll pick it out um, or I'll dethatch it down very heavy. And you can see like this is really all filled in real nicely with some grass. Um, it's very dark that mountain view seed like I keep saying it's it's really dark I mean it just it for some reason it's um, I reached out to them and, and and apparently that's that's what they do they they try they really want a dark grass seed from the start um, or a grass blade from the start and as you can see I mean it really looks really great I mean it's really dark um, and I'll come in closer right here so you guys can see I mean it looks really good I mean it's nice and dark right all in here I mean, it's filling in really great. So I'm extremely happy with the results so far. That's pretty much it today, guys. So technically today was my second mowing. Sorry about that. I had to jump the gun a little bit there. But today was my second mowing. I think it looks really great behind me. I'm going to finish up edging my sidewalk and blowing everything off. But that's pretty much it for today. So again, Stay tuned for future, future videos on more mowings and also on the videos for of the spoon feedings that I'll be doing uh, throughout the net re remainder of September and October to get me to the end of the season. And like always guys, if you found today's content helpful or if you enjoyed today's content, make sure you smash that like button. It helps out with the channel, it helps out with people finding my videos and my channel. And also if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I don't want anyone to miss the ending results of the before and after of my fall overseed this year. I want everyone to join in so you can follow my journey throughout the remainder of the fall 2021 overseed season. So again, if you're new, make sure you smash that like button and make sure you smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future content.
If you're interested in the five steps I did for my fall overseat, check out the video right here on the end screen. And if you're interested in any updates on the project lawn on day 10 germination, check out the video right here on the end screen as well. And make sure you hit that subscribe button right there in the middle. And like always, I'll see you in the next one.